subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Today's episode comes in the wake of the unfortunate death of actor Chadwick Boseman who played the iconic Black Panther and who died of colon cancer at just the age of 43. Colon cancer affects the colon and or the rectum and while it mostly affects older people, for some reason its rate among younger people also seem to be climbing now. In this video, we'll take a look at the intestines, the digestive system, colon cancer and the burden of colon cancer around the world. My name is Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. Colon cancer, also called bowel cancer or colorectal cancer, CRC, is the cancer of the colon or the rectum, which are both parts of our large intestine. If you remember our basic biology lessons from school, the large intestine or the large bowel is a part of the digestive system. It is the last part of the digestive tract where feces is stored before expulsion. The colon is the largest part of the large intestine. When we look at images of the digestive system, the outer thicker intestine is the largest and it typically looks like it is stuffed on the inside with the small intestine which is wound up tightly. The tip of this outer large intestine is the anus. The large intestine is about 1.5 meters long and the colon itself is about 165 meters long but it's scrunched up. If we look at the image of the colon, we can see that it's divided into four sections according to how it sits inside our bodies. Digested material or chyme goes up the ascending colon, it crosses over through the transverse colon, comes down in the descending colon before passing on to the S-shaped sigmoid colon and then eventually to the rectum to be expelled. The colon's function is to extract nutrients in the form of minerals, salts and water from chyme before it is finally stored as solid waste and then subsequently eliminated. It absorbs and reabsorbs vitamin K and riboflavin and also produces chlorine and potassium ions. Within the colon, the colonic bacteria or the gut bacteria play a very vital role. The bacteria break down fiber in foods and aid the digestive process. The digested material, which is the chyme, is processed by fermenting fiber into fatty acids like acetic acid, which are absorbed by the body. The bacteria also synthesize vitamin B and vitamin K and also produce hormones. The gut bacteria or the gut flora, including the mucus and other microbes that occupy this area, is considered to be a very crucial indicator of our health and we are just starting to learn more and more about how the gut flora behaves and the gut bacteria and gut flora's impact on our bodies. Colon cancer manifests itself as a tumor in the rectum or the colon which is initially benign but then eventually over time turns malignant. It can be detected through routine CT scans, it can be biopsied through a colonoscopy and then eventually removed as well. Symptoms of colon cancer include the usual weight loss, lethargy, loss of energy, excessive fatigue, nausea and loss of appetite, but also blood in the stool and a sudden change in general bowel movements, including strong constipation and loss of thickness or consistency in stools. In patients over 50, anemia is a risk factor and weight loss together with rectal bleeding are high risk symptoms. Most colorectal cancers occur due to old age and lifestyle. These are the leading causes and it's not as strongly linked to genetic disorders as some other cancers might be. Lifestyle risk factors include the usual culprits of diet, primarily high consumption of red meat and sugar, obesity, smoking, lack of exercise and even consumption of more than one glass of alcohol a day. 
staying lean and fit and increasing water intake has shown to decrease the risk but there are no reliable genetic indicators for colon cancer. Vitamin D is also thought to play a role as well and aspirin is often given to older people who are at high risk. As ever, regular screening among older people is important and some experts have started to press the public to get themselves screened regularly over the age of 45. As with most lifestyle diseases, colon cancer seems to affect men more than women. It does affect older people more, but among people over 65, it appears that the rates of colon cancer are actually declining. However, it is climbing among people younger than 50, the highest in America. In United States, colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer for men and women, and it's been rising rapidly among youngsters. The incidence of the disease is much less in India. It is the seventh leading kind of cancer here. However, globally, colon cancer is still the third most common type of cancer, making up one-tenth of all global cancer cases. Today's video again is on wildfires and focusing again on California, which is seeing some terrifying real-world effects of global climate change. At the moment, the state, which is no stranger to regular wildfires, is seeing two of its biggest ever forest fires since 1932. There is weather warning out as well for the unusual phenomenon of dry lightning. Additionally, there are two hurricanes approaching the country from the other side simultaneously as pictures of more than five simultaneous water spouts or tornadoes over sea are also going viral. In this video, we're going to talk about an assorted combination of forest fires, dry lightning, heat waves, tornadoes, hurricanes, sequoia forests and the endangered condor birds. My name is Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. Dry lightning is caused as a part of a dry thunderstorm. Dry thunderstorms are those where lightning and thunder are produced just like regular thunderstorms but most of the rainfall or precipitation evaporates before reaching the ground as rainfall. In meteorology, this is called a verga and occurs when air pressure increases closer to the ground. It's very common in deserts and is quite common in regions like California, the Middle East, northern parts of Africa as well as even Australia. In California right now, this is being caused because of two different kinds of weather systems. Two colliding weather systems, one is the tropical moisture from the south as well as another one which is a high pressure ridge from the east are now producing these dry thunderstorms. All the water and moisture in this kind of system is higher up in the atmosphere and doesn't really reach the ground. 